Al Jazeera, London. Let's go to Jessica Ashu now. She's the Deputy Director of the Middle East Strategy Task Force at the Atlantic Council. Joining us live from Washington, D.C. Very good to have you with us on Al Jazeera. So it looks like the British Parliament will uh, vote for airstrikes after this debate on Wednesday. Are they in touch, Ms. Ashu, with what the British public wants? You know, I think that we have seen over the past few weeks since the Paris bombings, a real sea change in British public opinion. There's a realization uh, that there is actually a lot in stake, at stake in Syria for British security um, and really for European unity in general. And I think the British public is coming around, and that's pretty evident, actually, in the divide in the Labour Party that we're seeing now. How will the British airstrikes in Syria that uh, David Cameron is proposing make the British public any safer? Well, you know, they're not going to have a huge effect on the ground over what is already being done, it's true. But the reason that it's generally uh, a positive decision is because it goes a, a long way in improving international consensus on the way forward in Syria. Uh, the UK is always safer when it's working in coordination with allies, and allies like the United States are always uh, much better off when they're working with close friends like Britain. And so while uh, militarily I wouldn't expect to see uh, much improvement in the situation without ground troops, diplomatically this could actually be a significant coup. Does Cameron have a strategy in, uh, in these additional airstrikes? I mean, some of the points that were brought up uh, in, our, in our report. Is there an end game? Is there a strategy? You know, it's important to remember that there is no military solution to Syria without a political solution. And on the flip side, there's also no political solution without a military element. So to set them up as a, as a dichotomy, uh, as something that's, uh, that's mutually exclusive, is not correct. And so as long as that is kept in mind and diplomatic processes are continuing, which all signs indicate that they are, actually uh, these unified airstrikes could be a very powerful symbol that the West and the international community is united in finding a solution for Syria that's sustainable. Jessica Ashu joining us live uh, from Washington, D.C. there. Thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you.